Now we will transfer the information that we've collected from the two scanning systems to a monitor so we can view the results. There are a couple of versions of the monitor available, but what I'm going to show you is the latest version monitor, the PSA 200, and the logic of transferring the scan data is the same for both models. So we'll now transfer data from the PS250 to the current PSA 200 monitor. What we need to use is an IR adapter because the scanner transfers data by IR technology. So I will take the PSA 96 and simply plug this adapter into the side of the monitor, like so. Now I'm able to transfer scans from the scanning head to the monitor. Simply a question of lining the two tools up at a distance of about half a meter and transferring the scan to the software on the monitor. To transfer the data, the scanning head must point towards the infrared detector on the monitor and then we must press the import button and select import from PS200. The next step would be to select the destination project from the project listing. As soon as I do that, the screen on the scanning head is asking me whether I want to transfer the scan. So I'm going to press tick and the scan is now transferred to the monitor. After a short while, the scan is now in the project directory on the PSA 200 monitor. You now have two options with the scanning head. If you press tick, you will delete the scan from the scanning head, and if you press cross, the scan will remain in the scanning head. I can now go to my project directory and select the file for further analysis. An alternate way of transferring data and increasing the data storage capacity of the scanning head is to use the PSA 55. This is both a storage device and it has an infrared port so that you can transfer information to the monitor. Now we'll look at transferring scan data from the PS1000 to the PSA 200 monitor. To transfer this data, we use a cable system, the PSA 52, and this cable plugs into a small port on the end of the scanner here and has a USB connection that connects to the monitor at the other end. It's just a question of connecting the USB, connecting the multi-plug cable to the other end of the scanner, and then we can simply transfer scans from the scanning head to the monitor for further analysis. As an alternative, we can use the USB connections or the SD card to transfer data from the scanning head to a PC or tablet. Should you wish to carry out further analysis of the scans that you've transferred to the monitor, the monitor can be easily connected to your PC or laptop using standard USB technology, and then you can use our Profis detection software to carry out further analysis. This software is available from our Hilti website.